What is going on and welcome everyone to this FIFA 23 player career mode video. In today's guide, I thought I'd do something different and um, I went to ChatGPT and asked it to pick two of its favorite players. So I went ahead and picked up Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Very typical, but we'll go with it. Second, I asked it to create an uh, ultimate team card combining both of these players' attributes because it did not recognize career mode. So it gave me some basic stats, but I was not satisfied with that. After that, I asked it to create a more detailed player attributes combining these two players and expand on them. And I said, please, because being polite is always good. Little did I know, it gave me the holy grail, the best player build that I've ever seen. But unfortunately, we do not have enough points in FIFA career mode to recreate this player. So I did try my best to get as close as possible, and this was unreal. So if you want to recreate this player, the first thing you want to do is head on over to the player profile section and set your position to attacker. And next, we're going to put the role as striker. And after that, we're going to go for the height. It picked 5'11", which is approximately 180 centimeters. And after that, it also picked the weight at 169 pounds, which is approximately 66 to 67 kilograms. That is up to you. And after that, the preferred foot. I didn't ask you for that. That is a personal preference. I went with left. As for the perks, the three perks it went with the skill dribbler, which is going to increase our dribbling capabilities and most importantly, grant us the flair trait. After that, it gave us the poacher trait, which is going to increase our shooting from inside the box. Finally, it went with the distant shooter, uh, which is going to increase your accuracy and power from long distance shots and also grant the finesse a shot, the outside, the foot shot, and most importantly, it's going to give us the five-star weak foot ability. And the AI did say that this build should have five-star weak foot and five-star skill moves. Next, let's check out this player's attributes, starting with the physical section. In this part, we invest in both sides of the skill tree to end up with a 77 in jumping, 96 in stamina, 79 in strength, 100 in reactions, and 59 in aggression. Ideally, I would have liked to have more in jumping, but we do not have enough points to go ahead and do that. Given that we don't have enough points for anything, we're not going to invest anything in defending, so let's jump straight to dribbling. In this part, we go for both sides of skill trees to end up with an 88 in agility, 89 in balance, 89 in attack positioning, 98 in ball control, 99 in dribbling, and of course, five star skill moves. Now on to passing, we don't have enough points to get anything in crossing, so we stuck to short passes and we're going to go all the way down to the archetype to end up with an 84 in short pass and a 66 in vision. Given that this is a striker, we really don't need anything besides short pass. Now on to shooting, this is where we invest the bulk of our points and as you can see this is a beast of a build when it comes to the finishing department with a 98 in finishing, 96 in free kick accuracy, 98 in header accuracy, 99 in shot power, 96 in long shots, 93 in volleys, 97 in penalties and don't worry too much about that 3 star weak foot. As we know the distant shooter perk that we selected earlier is going to give us the 5 star weak foot ability. Now let's head on over to pace and this part we're going to pick up on everything except for one of the sprint speeds in the bottom right corner to end up with 94 in acceleration and 95 in sprint speed. And if this build is not fast enough for you, what you can do is head on back to the player profile section and decrease the height and weight of the player and that will directly correlate to the acceleration and sprint speed and these attributes will increase. Now a very important thing to go over is the player personality section. As you can see, I am a tier 3 personality with 50% in Maverick, 30% in Heartbeat, 20% in Virtuoso. And I always recommend getting 50, 30, 20. And that is because when you have 50% in Maverick, you unlock the entire personality trait associated with it and you get plus 5 in penalties, free kick, accuracy, dribbling, ball control, acceleration, sprint speed and finishing. Meanwhile, a 30% in Heartbeat is going to unlock 4 of the uh, personality traits associated with it so you can get plus 5 in volleys, vision, reaction and attack positioning. And lastly, a 20% in Virtuoso is going to give us plus 5 in stamina and composure. Now, as usual, I hope this video helps you out. Until the next time, stay safe and keep on keeping on.